I made an intro. I have no idea how I'm gonna keep up with that, that intro, but Sutri, what is Sutri? 1979 book by Cormac McCarthy. It is his longest novel, and depending on who you ask, it took him between 10 and 30 years to write. This is actually the second book I've read by Cormac McCarthy, the other being Blood Meridian. I read a little bit of The Road back in high school, but I don't really remember much, so I can't speak too much on it, but uh, Blood Meridian and Sutri, to my knowledge, are written in pretty similar ways. They both have this really uh, gritty, almost violent, detail-saturated, poetic, yet grammatically simple writing. Uh, he foregoes the use of quotation marks in Sutri, so the dialogue is just sitting like right there in the text with everything else. Which makes sense, because this book's strength really is in the incredible rich world-building that McCarthy's able to achieve here. I mean, whether it's the description of the chain link fences being patched with cardboard or the dusty garbage strewn vacant lots over Knoxville or broken bottles on the bar floors or the used condoms floating around in the Knoxville River, a detail which comes up a surprising amount of times, uh, McCarthy forces you to be there. For me as a reader, I often have troubles with books that don't give me enough concrete details because I have a hard time picturing in my head. When I read a book, that's how I read it. I kind of picture the events in my head almost like a movie. And a lot of books don't give me enough uh, basis to go off of. Uh, with Sutri, I have the opposite problem. There's so much description that you have to pick and choose what you want to process. Are you going to gloss over some of the descriptions after reading for 30 pages and you're tired about reading all the stuff he finds in the river? Or are you going to really put yourself there the entire time in Knoxville with Sutri? It really is up to you. This book will give you as much as you want to take from it. If you read any online review, of basically any McCarthy novel, they're gonna say the main theme of the book is death, which, you know, is it's tr it was true for Blood Meridian at least, it's definitely true of The Road, and while it's somewhat true for Sutri, it's not the main theme that I took away from it. I mean, the book does incorporate, there are, there are dozens of deaths, the book starts with the death, in a way, in a way, no spoilers, it kinda ends with the death, um, there are many conversations Sutri has with the fringe outcasts of Knoxville's poverty-stricken communities on their takes on death. You get a few different perspectives on it, but really the main theme I took from this book is that of aimlessness, pointlessness. This book, let's get this out of the way, barely has a plot. There, it's, it's, I've seen people describe it as plotting. If you're looking for a book with a tense plot, where heavy character revelations happen, or you, you, you get this rising action, climax, falling resolution structure, Sutri's not the one for you. Um, while there are subtleties at play in Sutri, a lot of the themes don't really get fleshed out. You get thrown these very open-ended questions which don't get answered. Which I really think is the point of the book. I mean, not everything has such a clear-cut cause and effect you can trace in your life. Sutri himself, he chooses to abandon a wife and a child to be a broke fisherman. Why? Why? Because Sutri is Sutri. You, you, get, you see a few examples of his preferences throughout the book that he chooses to do things simply because he doesn't, I don't know, sometimes it feels like he doesn't know what to do with happiness or he doesn't like know, he doesn't want happiness. He's very detached from all the things that happen to him. And he doesn't really have any overarching plan. And, he, and I think the theme of aimlessness is kind of paralleled with character of Sutri. Oh yeah, before I continue with the review, soundtrack to Sutri. The Big Come Up by the Black Keys, their first album. This album is a lo-fi, gritty, grainy, bluesy rock album that sounds like a $4 pint of whiskey taste. The other album is Black Pudding by Mark Lanigan and Duke Garwood. Dark, Southern Gothic. Americana, haunting blues, kind of acoustic stuff. Really good album. I cannot suggest that one enough. Listen to that while you read Sutri. It will put you there. Trust me. Curious the small and lesser fates that joins lead a man to this. The thousand of brawls and stoven jaws, the clubbings, the broken bottles, and the little knives that come from nowhere. 
For him, perhaps, it was all in silence. Or how would it sound, that shot that fired the bullet lay beneath already in his brain? The small enigmas of time and space and death. Sutri is kind of like McCarthy's fucked up take on the slice of life story. And the book reads like a bunch of friends passing around a cheap pint glass of rot gut whiskey telling stories sounds. Most of the funny tales are pointless, but every once in a while you stumble across something that has a little more depth and reveals a little bit more about ourselves. Suchery is kind of like that, and that's what you're going to find in this book. True depth in the face value of things, I guess you could say. Um, I think it is worth reading, but only if you're ready to... you got to really dedicate yourself. you got to pay attention, because things aren't put forthright in this book, and, and the book really does get its strength from just giving you such a wildly comprehensible description of the setting. You can reach out and feel the texture of what goes on this book. You can really put yourself there with how well McCarthy is describing things. It's it's amazing. People call him the greatest living American author. I'm not going to speak on that, but I see why people would say that. Lastly, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I got a lot of books coming down the pipe. I got some Faulkner coming down the pipe. I got a few other things. I'm definitely going to do Doom by Frank Herbert. I'm going to get a little sci-fi here and there. Yeah, comment if you liked the review or what you thought about the book. Anything, yeah. Thanks, guys.